For today's video, we are going to do some mobile game development. And I don't mean developing for mobile. I mean using a mobile device to develop. I'm going to code and build a game while using nothing more than a single phone. Growing up, I always loved tech and wanted to learn how to make games. However, my family didn't have a lot of money at the time, so we couldn't afford the best equipment. With only old, slow computers, I had to get creative. As I grew older and became a programmer, I could afford better equipment, but my creativity surprisingly suffered from too many options. So today, I want to challenge myself to make a game from scratch using just my phone, while rediscovering the joy of simplicity and creativity. I first installed Ubuntu on my phone. I managed to get Blender and GIMP working, but I couldn't get Unity or Godot or any other engine to run because they were app images. In order to run them, I had to root my phone, and I really didn't want to risk it. Instead, I came up with a new game plan. Buy a digital ocean droplet, install Ubuntu on it, SSH into my droplet, install XFCE, establish remote control via RVNC, install Unity, and then code my game. Easy. All right, let's see how I'm doing. All right, guys, so uh, this is the plan. We're gonna go to DigitalOcean and I'm going to sign in. A few moments later. All right, so I finally signed in. <laughs> Took me a little bit. Let's go create a droplet, I think. Choose a region. Probably Frankfurt is closest. We're gonna use Ubuntu, shared CPU, I think. Let's try this one. And they're really fucking with me when it comes to the password. Okay, I have to write this shit down. Otherwise, I'm gonna forget it. Alright, let's do it. One, two, three, four. I guess that's it for now. Let's just hit create droplet. Okay, so almost done. We can go to access, I think. And we can launch the droplet. This is where it gets interesting. Waiting for the console. Let's try it again. Launch the droplet. Connected. Awesome. So it seems stuck. Can't write anything. Oh, this is gonna be tougher than I anticipated. If the command line works this slow, I wonder how slow the, the screen share is gonna be, bro. Oh my god. Is this for real? Okay, we're, we're 20 minutes in almost. And, um, yeah, it's not, not looking good, guys. Maybe I was supposed to do SSH instead. Yeah, this is not going anywhere. Let's try, um, grabbing the IP address then let's try using this stupid term UX SSH and let's paste this shit in now let's let's hope this works because if it doesn't then I'm fucked holy shit spider what the fuck do you want holy shit get the fuck out of here bro what the fuck pseudo apt get install ssh what do you mean it's not installed what the fuck is this shit bro there's gotta be an ssh thing right ssh terminus let's get this one i don't know bro awesome let's let's give it a shot Holy shit, it works. It works, guys. Yes! We did it. We fucking did it. Okay. Spider, don't touch my ass, okay? Copy. Paste. Awesome. Look look how fast that shit is, guys. Look, look how fast that shit is. That's how fast it's supposed to be. I don't know. It's probably like because it's through a browser or some shit. I just hope that Unity can run. <laughs> I really hope Unity can run. If Unity doesn't run, 
I don't know, bro. Maybe Godot can run. If Godot can't run, then maybe Game Maker can run. There's gotta be something, right? What the fuck is this, bro? What the f Now if I go here... And... Game Dev. Create. Okay. Connect. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember? Continue. We're in, guys! Holy fuck, we're fucking in! Look at that, guys. Look at that beautiful desktop. Look at that fucking beautiful desktop. Holy fuck. I cannot believe this works, guys. Okay. Applications. Let's go, let's go. I guess web browser? What? I guess I don't have a browser. I spent ages downloading a browser and also downloading Unity Hub. If we go back here, maybe we can see something now. Maybe like... Got at it somewhere. <gasps> Unity Hub! Here it is! No, nothing? Nothing here, huh? Well, this is um, the point where I spent a lot of time trying to install Unity Hub and then getting Unity to work and stuff like that. Um, but when I finally got to the point to run it, I realized that this DigitalOcean droplet actually doesn't have a graphics card that can support Unity. So, yeah, that was a waste of time. And as far as I know, there is no way to actually upgrade or buy a graphics card or set up a server with a graphics card. So, yeah, that's, that's not going to work. So, yeah. I don't think I can finish this project. I don't think it's possible to make games on your phone. Everything I tried, it's all been a complete failure. Um, so, I don't know. Like, I'm losing, I'm losing ideas, losing hope, and um, there is one, one more thing that could potentially look into but I didn't really want to resort to this but I think I I have to so so it turns out there is a version of Godot for Android and it's even available on the Play Store so yeah now I've got Godot on my Android and I didn't really have to go through all that trouble of buying a server or rooting my phone or whatnot but I'm gonna be honest with you, the experience of developing on mobile is actually terrible. No surprise there. But yeah, we're gonna go through with the challenge till the end and we're gonna make a simple game here. So, yeah, let's get coding. That was a lot of work, guys. I finally got something to show. This is also my first time using Godot, so it wasn't really smooth sailing. I also had to figure out how to actually use it. In the end, I decided to do a point-and-click adventure game. When it comes to the assets that I used for the game, I leveraged assets from Kenny and Open Game Art. But initially, I actually wanted to use uh, my pen, which is which, which comes with this phone. Uh, but but it felt kind of like cheating because not all phones have this, so I didn't really want to do that. 
I had another idea which was to draw these point perspective uh, drawings of the rooms and then just you know take a take a picture of it and then use that uh, as art for the game but in the end I decided to actually just leverage free free assets from the internet uh, just to keep things simple so this is what I was able to accomplish by just using my phone so you start off in the starting room which is like the living room you can interact with some of these objects it says this is a chair it's a candle you can see here there is one door that is locked and then there's one door that is open it leads you to this library here you've got a bunch of bookshelves you've got a chest that's locked you've got a bunch of bookshelves one of the bookshelves is empty so if you go back here you click on this painting there's something behind the painting it's a key you get a key you go back in here you use the key on the chest you open the chest and you get a bunch of books now you take these books and you place them on the bookshelf and now the, the door opens so if you go back here you can see that the door is now open you go there and you uh, find a bunch of gold here and this chest and that's it <laughs> it's a very simple game it proves a point that you can actually develop games on your mobile